How's your mood as a crypto investor right now? Well, for me, I can tell you that the frustration in August of 2024, it's creeping up. Yeah, this sideways action from Bitcoin is getting on my nerves, testing my patience. I'm waking up and looking at my portfolio every day and either we're going down or we're going sideways, we're going nowhere. So frustration is creeping up. Usually I'm a very patient guy, but for whatever reason, at this stage of the cycle, it's getting to me. Don't get me wrong, I did a calculation this morning. So from the price of January 2024, beginning of the year, to August of 2024 right now, I'm up 2.75x to my portfolio. That's an amazing return. But my mood does not match what's going on with my portfolio. What's probably working on my mood is that I was above 5x my January price when we were in the 70,000, 70,500 Bitcoin price. So maybe that's affecting, but the most part is just the waiting. The waiting game is horrible. It is my true first pre-explosion in a cycle that I have been part of. I started investing at the end of the exponential phase of the previous cycle. So I've never experienced this base post having dilemma and then the winning game that we have right now. So my DJ part of my portfolio, and I have Jupiter, CRO, Milady Meme Coin, and then a bunch of other Shiba Inu, Pepe, Dog We've Had, Floki, Bonk. And on the more conservative part of my portfolio, we have the three big coins, Bitcoin, Solana, and Ethereum. But my DGEN part, I set up my positions. I believe Jupiter, this is the chart of Jupiter right now on a daily chart. Jupiter has been one of the pistons in the Solana blockchain that's gathering transactions, collecting users, and getting tons of fees for Solana. I believe it's going to be huge. This is still an early project, but I'm extremely happy to have my position ready before this, the explosion of Bitcoin. CRO, this is a, just a bystander coin because I use this CRO app. If you want, you can click on my reference link there, affiliate link, if you wanna get in and generate uh, an account at crypto.com. I've been using this since the start. Didn't have any issues in the crash with the Terra Luna. It was solid enough that it tolerated that volatility. Right now I have a few coins. Well, most of my portfolio is there. And I do some staking, one month, three months staking. And that's how I've been accumulating coins. And I buy most of my coins there. I also have a Coinbase account so that I don't have everything in one application. I suggest you ha have at least two or even three. In my case, it's two. And that's, uh, that's how I'm managing my coins. So Jupiter, CRO, and then meme coins are the main parts of my portfolio, DGEN wise. So the positions are ready. I haven't bought recently. I should I have a little bit of money on the side, but I decided to stop adding to my positions. I buy, I buy a little bit of uh, Bitcoin and Solana, but that's pretty much it at this time in the cycle. But like I indicated, it's going sideways, it's going down. The, econ the economic data that's coming out it's ambiguous, we don't know what the Fed's going to do, but they will have to lower interest rates. Eventually, they're gonna start to print money, but it's not happening quick enough. And it's getting to me. Usually I'm pretty uh, stubborn in my 
investing, meaning I make a plan, I set up my positions, and then I wait. Like I just said, it's just that the waiting is excruciating right now. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are in the same boat as I am. And I cannot wait until this thing takes off. I know that Bitcoin will take off and I, I'm hoping that all my memes, Jupiter, CRO, Milady Meme Coin, are going to go up with Bitcoin. That's my whole thesis on the positions that I built. Many people are saying that the meme trading is done. I don't believe it's the case. Uh, it's going to be pulled by uh, Bitcoin, that I'm pretty sure. And at the end of the cycle of Bitcoin, if we ever get there, we don't know if there's going to be a really uh, solid bear market or not because of the ETFs. We don't know. Right now, there's a lot of uh, speculation about that. If we get a bear market or a big correction in Bitcoin, people will take profits from Bitcoin and dump it on altcoins. My belief is going to be mainly Solana, Ethereum, that it ha was that has happened before. I'm not investing anymore in Ethereum. I think uh, it's, it's lagging and uh, I think Solana is going to take its place fairly soon. So I believe people will take profits from Bitcoin, dump it in on Solana and then um, altcoins like Jupiter, so a few coins in the Solana network, and the main and important meme coins of all chains. That's what I'm guessing. So the top chains are going to be um, Solana, Base, Ethereum. That's what I think are the main ones, but there could be others. So I'm expecting, like I said, and the original uh, altcoins. So Shiba, Doge, Pepe, Dog with Hat, Floki, Bonk are the ones that I have. And I believe those ones will explode at the end of the cycle. So that means theoretically after June, July of 2025, near the end of 2025, if not, it could even go at the beginning of 2026, January, February, that would be the real altcoin season, in my opinion, based on history, but that's what I'm expecting. But I understand the frustration of many investors. There's a lot of early investors or people who are starting investing in uh, meme coins and in crypto that freaked out, already have uh, took positions, sold them at a loss, took another position and sold it at an even bigger loss. They don't know what they're doing. They're trying to get a handle of what's going on. You have to set up your positions. In my opinion, at this stage, we are in a very low base for some of the coins. It's still a, a nice opportunity for those who are starting to buy the coins. Don't use leverage, fin the financial advice, but all the other stuff that I'm talking about is not financial advice. It's a good entry position for those who are coming late, but buy your coins and hold on to your coins. Don't sell it two, three days after. It's useless. It can go down. So what I suggest is if you have a position, let's say you have, I don't know, $1,000. So I would split that in the next week, two weeks. Divide that into 10 parts, so $100 every day until you, so it's going to take you 10 days, so $100 every day of the assets that you like you can choose one two three depending on one one what you want to start but i would suggest not to buy 20 coins just buy one two or three the more concentrated they are the better of the assets that you have research that you have conviction into and if you didn't have time to um do some research you need to go into the top 10 coins. In my opinion, not financial advice again, I would if I have a, no choice and I have a limited amount of cash to invest in crypto in August 2024, I would put my money on Bitcoin and Solana. That's it. Nothing else.
And if you want to have a third coin that is very degen, then you can select the meme coin if you want. You can select Jupiter if you want. There's Shiba and uh, Doge that are always popular. I don't know, but I, yeah. So I would either choose a coin in the Solana ecosystem that Jupiter is, Jupiter or a meme coin, that would be my third choice. It's up to you to decide, it's not financial advice. That's what I would do. But I believe we are probably within a month, within the next four weeks, we should see a big push from Bitcoin and it's going to change everything. Everything is going to go up and everybody is going to jump in with FOMO, fear of missing out on gains. So it could get crazy very, very fast. Keep in mind that in a bull run, there's limited amount of days where Bitcoin will explode and provide you with impressive returns. So if you trade and you do this in a fancy way that sometimes you're out of the market and you miss that huge day, you won't be able to recover that. That's why I'm suggesting right now to buy every single day a little bit of amount until you fulfill the amount that you can invest in the crypto world so that at least you are in on the main coins and a few altcoins if you want and a few risky assets so that if there's a big change tomorrow or the day after, you are part of the push and you increase your portfolio with these critical days that are coming. I know it's frustrating. I'm getting tired of it too. I cannot wait until this thing moves. It's testing my patience. I didn't think it would test it that strongly, but yes, fr frustration is creeping up. I cannot wait until this blows up to the upside and that I confirm all my thesis, all my work related to the four cycles, and that I see my portfolio grow the way I want it to go. And after that, my job is going to be what? To protect that value and sell portions of my portfolio to ensure that I don't go back to these levels in terms of size of portfolio ever again. And that's how you increase your wealth, increase your investments, and ensure to grow your bag, grow your portfolio exponentially for the upcoming years. This is my plan. I know it's very hard for everybody. It's not fun. The waiting game is a lot harder than I expected, but that's how it is. So keep it up. Don't get discouraged. And hopefully we will see big movements in the upcoming week. I hope it's going to be in the upcoming week, but we are days away, in my opinion, from a very strong push upwards. As soon as we see a new all-time high, watch out because it's going to get crazy. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of share a little bit my thoughts on and how I feel about the market right now. I'm in the learning process, like I indicated. It's my first pre-explosion of Bitcoin in any cycle. I haven't lived that yet. Once I get to the peak of Bitcoin of this cycle, then I will have, you know, a full cycle experience. But uh, yeah, it's tough on the mind. It's tough on the patience. And you just need to stick with the plan and avoid making stupid mistakes like selling at this stage. I think it's crazy. You should not do that. Keep your positions because it's going to move very, very soon. See you all on the next one. Continue watching the videos. Send me all the comments. Send me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to improve on if there's something that I haven't covered that you would like to see. Send a message. I'm reading everything right now, every comment, and I'm enjoying it. It's been fun. But I cannot wait until the 
my portfolio explodes and confirms everything. So I'm pretty sure you're thinking the same thing. See you all very soon.